Now it stands to reason that if we can express a combination of sine and cosine as a single cosine, we should be able to express a single cosine as a combination of sines and cosines. So here we have the composite argument property for the cosine of a minus b. We can rewrite the cosine of a minus b as the cosine of a times the cosine of b plus the sine of a times the sine of b. I'll be providing you a link to a proof of this property, but for right now, we're simply going to accept it and use it in a couple of example problems. So let's start. Here we have a cosine function with a difference of angles, theta minus 23, um, with an amplitude. And we're going to express that as a linear combination of cosine and sine. So we take the formula and apply it. Here, a is going to be theta, and b is going to be the 23 degrees. So if we expand this theta minus 23 degrees, we would get 7 times the quantity, the cosine of A, so the cosine of theta times the cosine of B, or the cosine of 23 degrees, plus the sine of angle A, which is theta, so sine theta, times the sine of angle B, sine 23. Now we need the values for the cosine of 23 and the sine of 23. So we'll pull out our calculators and we will find the cosine of 23 degrees. We find that to be 0.9205. So I can write this as 7 times 0 0.9205 cosine theta plus, now let's find the sine of 23 degrees. Of 23. And that turns out to be 0 0.3907. So plus point. 3907 sine theta. When we distribute the 7, we end up with 7 times 0 0.9205, which would be 6.4435 cosine theta, plus 7 times 0 0.3907, which turns out to be 2.7351 sine theta. So that's how we can express a cosine with a phase displacement as a linear combination of cosine and sine. Let's look at another problem. 